Welcome back. Manchester United ace Scott McTominay has been blasted by fans for refusing to fight for the badge during the 4-3 loss at Bayern Munich last night. McTominay was slammed for not trying to win the ball back from Bayern after he had been on the pitch for just 10 minutes. United manager Eric Ten Hag decided to sub on the midfielder in the 69th minute as his side were trailing two goals behind the Bundesliga champions. However, just shortly into his cameo, the 26-year-old lost the ball on the edge of the Bavarian's area and showed little urgency to win the ball back. Meanwhile, Manchester United legend Paul Scholes ripped into his former side's soft underbelly. He said that there is a weakness to them. There is a soft underbelly, and they do seem to collapse a bit when things are going wrong. They scored three goals, and that is good. But I felt Bayern could then turn it on and score another. I thought there was a big distance between the teams, in that second half especially. First half, I thought they did well, but still conceded two goals through a lack of concentration. There is experience in the team, but I don't think it is being used. Concentration in Europe is so important. Once you concede one goal, it can turn into two and three. None of those Centra Halvies are saying, look, Casemiro and Christian Eriksen get in here. Are Casemiro and Eriksen saying to the wide players, come in next to me, let's calm the game down? Meanwhile, Manchester United star Marcus Rashford was slammed by Stuart Pearce after the 4-3 loss to Bayern Munich. He said that United are under the cosh because too many of their players have jacked it in. Rashford half running back and Casemiro half running back. I'm not sure what Andre Onana said when he has a rant at Harry Maguire in the summer, but now is the time to have a rant at the back line, not just the back line, but the whole team. Too many players who have given up the ghost, and that is alarming. United are so off the pace, and they are lucky that Bayern have not been more clinical. On the other side, Manchester United. Legend Ole Gunnar Solskjaer claimed some players refused to train or play under him. Solskjaer's successor, Eric Ten Hag, also insisted there was no good culture when he arrived at Old Trafford in May last year. I was very disappointed when some said they wouldn't play or train because they wanted out. When you have a group, you need everyone to pull in the same direction, again and again. Manchester United stars have been savaged in player ratings by German newspaper Bild after their loss to Bayern Munich. The German publication rates players between 1 and a 6, with 1 being the highest grade and 6 the lowest. Andre Onana, Lisandro Martinez, Victor Lindelof, Diogo Dallo, as well as Facundo Pellistri were all given damning scores of 5. Christian Eriksen and Sergio Reguilon were also scored lowly with fours and other starters, Rasmus Hojlund, Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes, and Marcus Rashford, were given average scores of three. Manchester United legend Dwight York insists his former club should have kept Dean Henderson instead of signing Andre Onana in the summer. York told OLBG that it's crazy that Chelsea had Edouard Mendy and Kepa Arrizabalaga and wanted another goalkeeper. We should have let Andre Onana go to Chelsea, and Man United should have kept David De Gea and promoted Dean Henderson instead. These managers are forgetting the young players. They have to give them a chance. If you're not giving someone who is supposedly England's next big thing in goal when he is waiting in the wings, when will he be promoted? If it was someone like Marcus Rashford and you kept him in the under-23s, how would you know that he would be as great as he is? If De Gea is the problem, then we should have promoted Henderson. He went and got valuable experience at Nottingham Forest, enough to make him a starter, and De Gea would take a more rotated role. I won't sit here and say Onana is 100% better than De Gea. I think back to when I was a young player and trying to get in the team. If I went on loan to get experience and worked hard but still didn't get promoted, I would be frustrated. Again and again. Manchester United ace Jadon Sancho has been offered a shock escape route out of Old Trafford. Sancho, 23, could be set to quit the Red Devils. After a social media row with manager Eric Ten Hag, who claimed he was left out of his squad due to his performance in training. Barcelona are the latest club linked with a move for the England forward, according to Sport.
The report adds Barca are closely monitoring the winger situation under Ten Hag and could be set to offer him a loan move in the January transfer window. The 23-year-old has found himself training away from his teammates after he claimed he was a scapegoat at Old Trafford, again and again. Sheikh Jassim still wants to buy club despite long sale process. Sheikh Jassim and Sir Jim Ratcliffe still want to buy Man United as Qatari banker, and British industrialists have made bids which value United at about $5 billion. But the Glazers have been holding out for higher offers. Two bidders not put off club despite poor start to the season. One source has said, the longer they demand more money, the more the very asset they are trying to sell is being devalued. The Glazers announced a strategic review in November last year, which they said could lead to a sale. United Chief Executive Richard Arnold confirmed on Monday in a staff meeting that the process was ongoing. The two bidders' interest in buying United has not been affected by United's disappointing start to the season and off-field problems. United have lost three of their opening five Premier League games this season and lost one match in UEFA Champions League. While Mason Greenwood has been sent on loan to Getafe, Anthony has been given time off to address allegations of assault, and Jaden Sancho is training away from the first team after refusing to apologize for criticizing Eric Ten Hag in a social media post. United spent $183 million in the summer window, but they failed to sign Ten Hag's top targets in Harry Kane and Declan Rice. United's share price dropped by 18.2% in a day earlier this month after the Mail on Sunday reported that the Glazers were going to take the club off the market. There has always been a strong possibility that the Glazers will not sell, having never officially put the club up for sale. U.S. hedge fund Elliott Management were also sniffing around, offering investment into the club which could have allowed the Glazers to remain as majority shareholders. Man United fans have protested the Glazers' ownership ever since they completed a leveraged buyout to assume full control of the club in 2005, with discontent towards the family now at an all-time high. Man United bidders have always thought there's strong possibility Glazers won't sell, posted Sky Sports News' Kave Solhekol. Theory that Ratcliffe had won stories were meant to make Qatar bid more. Qatar had won stories were meant to make Ratcliffe bid more, and sale is off, stories meant to make both bid more. Meanwhile, former United manager Ola Gunnar Solskjaer has spoken in detail for the first time since losing his job almost two years ago, again and again. Eric Ten Hag praised keeper Andre Onana for claiming his mistake for Bayern's opening goal proved costly. The United boss told TNT Sports, it's good he's doing that, but it's about the team. Mistakes are being made, but you have to bounce back as a team. If one player makes a mistake, it's done. It's gone. We have to believe as a team that we can always bounce back. Tonight, we showed it. After my mistake, we lost control, Onan said.